Hello, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Hope Jeremiah. In today's lesson, we will be looking at a very interesting topic in mathematics known as logical reasoning. So at the end of the lesson, we believe to have learned and understood effectively the meaning of logical statement in mathematics, as well as the difference between a simple statement and a compound statement in mathematics. So, what is logical reasoning? It is the process of using a systematic series of steps based on mathematical procedures and given statements. What this means is that equations, solutions, formulas in mathematics must follow a systematic series of steps or procedures before you say they are logical. So for you to arrive at a logical conclusion in mathematics, you must follow a procedure or a series or steps. Otherwise, what you are doing is not logical. Okay, so sentences in mathematics must state a particular fact or must contain a complete idea. Otherwise, they are not logical sentences. Statements, they must have a meaningful declarative sentences that are either true or false. If I have a statement and I can't, you can't easily say that statement is true or false, then such a statement is not logical. So every logical statement in mathematics, you should be able to say they are either true or false. Let's look at an example so you understand exactly what I'm saying. Example one, coronavirus can kill. Can coronavirus kill? Oh yes, coronavirus can kill because it has been proven. We know coronavirus can kill. So it is a declarative sentence. Okay, the fact that you can say corona, yes, coronavirus can kill. Some other person can say no, it is false, it can't kill, which is proof. Then we say such a statement is logical. So coronavirus can kill is a logical statement because it is true. Okay, don't shout, don't shout. Is it a logical statement? No, it is not. Why? Because it is just a command. You can't say it is either true or false. Okay, so. Any statement that you can't say it is true or false, such a statement is not logical. Number three said, nine is greater than two. Is nine actually greater than two? Yes, nine is greater than two. So it has been proven over time that nine is greater than two. So it is a logical statement. Number four says, two is greater than seven. Is two greater than seven? No. So it is a logical statement. Why? Because Two can never be greater than seven. It has been proven over time that two can never be greater than seven. So any statement that you can easily say this is either true or false is a logical statement. Okay? We have simple statements. Simple statements are just piece of information that declares a fact. Okay? They don't have operative. Operative. What I mean by operative is that is they don't have operators like and but with therefore these are linking words that link one or two sentences together they don't so any statement that is logical and does not have any of these operators is called a simple logical statement example lagos is the capital of china is it true no so it's false you can easily say it's false so it's a logical statement what type of logical statement simple logical statement why because it does not have any operator number two Square root of 4 is equal to 2. Is square root of 4 actually equal to 2? Yes, it is. So it is a logical statement. What type of logical statement? Simple logical statement. Why? Because it does not have operator. How about number 3? Number 3 is true. Coronavirus can kill. It is a simple logical statement. Why? It does not have an operator. Okay. So you see, you notice that the Examples I'm giving, they are short, 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 short. So, remember, not all short sentences are simple statements. For example, close the window, don't shout. These are short sentences, but they are not logical statements. They are not simple logical statements. Why? Because they are just commands. They don't have operators. You can't say if they are either true or false. Okay, so every statement that you can say they are either true or false are logical statements. And if they have 
operators, then you say they are simple logical statements. But what if they have operators? We call them what? Compound statement. Why? Because they have operators like not, like, and, or. Okay, these are operators. They link one or two simple statements together. For example, we have a statement x equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. This is a logical statement. It has been proven. This is a quadratic equation, a quadratic formula rather. That has been proven. In our previous lesson, we 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 learn uh, we learn how to derive the quadratic formula. So you can check out on our previous lessons to really understand how to derive the quadratic formula. So this has been proven. So this is a logical statement. But what type of logical statement? It is a compound statement. Why? Because it has an operator known as what? Or. Okay. So this statement can be broken down into two simple statements. That is. Either x equal minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a, or x equal minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, number two says coronavirus kills white and black people. Is this a logical statement? Yes, because you, you coronavirus kills both white and black people. You can prove it. It has a connective. What is the connective? And so it is a logical statement and it is a compound logical statement because it has a connective and the statement can be broken down into coronavirus kills white. You can also break it down into coronavirus kills black. She is a mathematician, not a writer. Is this a logical statement? Yes, you can argue it. You can say it is a logical statement because you can say she is a mathematician and you can as well say she is what? A writer. So it has a linking word, not. Okay. The last one is what? Moto. Is moto a logical statement? Moto is on and off. Is it a logical statement? No. Pause and ask. Why? It is not a logical statement because it has a wrong operator. The fact that I say a statement must have an operator does not mean that it should have a wrong operator. You can't say a motor is on and off at the same time. The right word should be the motor is on or off. So, summarily, we have been able to learn the meaning of logical statement. Identify simple and compound statement and the differences between a simple and compound statement. So, a quick glance, don't forget, for you to identify a logical statement, it must the, you should be able to say such a statement is either true or false. Then, if it has an operator, you say it is a compound statement. If it don't, then you say it is a simple statement. All right. Let's test our understanding. Try it out and see if you can answer these questions. Coronavirus is real. My father is a teacher and a Muslim. Nigeria is a country in Africa. Area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. These are six different statements. Identify which is simple statement and which is compound statement. Thank you very much. And bye for now.